Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my kitchen. We are going to have another dish today and uh, that's kind of weird because I don't have a name for it. The reason that I don't have because it's a family uh, recipe and uh, we make this in the last 40, 45 years and I haven't seen anywhere else. And it's uh, the reason that I'm making it because in our party in our, or when we uh, invite the guest is a, one of the most demanded food that our guests ask for. So we, the thing is absolutely has to be delicious that people they want it. So I wanted to share this with you and we are going to have it today. So what I can say, I say, you know, cauliflower with the ground beef and uh, mushroom white sauce. That's what I can call it. So let's go over the ingredients and start making it. For this dish, I uh, have two cauliflower. It's not big one, it's, you know, it's just kind of toward the small one. And uh, for, for this, that much of the cauliflower, I use about a pound of white mushroom, one and a half, a very lean ground beef. It's like about 5%, it's a one and a half a pound. And uh, we need uh, some about two and a half tablespoon uh, tomato paste, about half a teaspoon turmeric, half a teaspoon black pepper, about a teaspoon salt. I might need more because, you know, for salts I have to use it, for the meat I have to use it. So I have to see and test that if it needed, I add it to. I need some cooking oil. This is a heavy uh, cream. It's about one cup. If it's not enough, I can add the milk to it. And one big uh, onion. This is a half a, a tablespoon flour. We might need it, we might not. It depends on how thickness the sauce is going to be. And I have a little bit of cilantro here. We're going to chop it for the garnish net. At the same time, like most of the dish that I have for the taste and the color, I have saffron. For the sauteing, the, when I slice the mushroom, I might use about like a 50 gram of butter. So we start processing, making, cooking this cauliflower and um, uh, meat at the same time so when it's getting you know ready we can put them together what we need is actually is not to cook this i'm going to put it in a, a big pan and put a little bit water on there so trying to make it almost uh, steam cook so that's the first thing i want to do so let's go over the stone top and put this cauliflower so I washed it clean it still I have this because I don't want to stick to the bottom and I pour some water here is that I need to use some of this salt here too and a little bit of the water not too much so I'm not gonna put the whole thing as I said I try to steam cook it that's going to be enough and turning the heat and watching to it get the steam cooked. Now the next step is going to be a uh, chop our onion and uh, start sauteing this at the same time while the cauliflower are uh, cooking all right so we make the pan ready for the sauteing the onion all right uh, not too much oil although the meat is very lean 
but we can, you know, control the uh, how much oil we need because we use the butter also. Next, I'm going to pre um, make these uh, mushrooms ready. They are being washed and clean. So I am slicing them. Okay, the mushrooms are done and ready for just making the sauce out of it and right now we have to take this beef and go to add it to the our onion Here we add our turmeric, our pepper, and some of the salt. You know, uh, I think for this much of the meat, I really need a little bit more turmeric. So I'm going to add a little bit more. But another half a teaspoon also. All right, I put uh, this in a little bit less of heat because it's already boiling and lots of steam is coming. So I put it on the side to slowly to just cook it with the steam. This one also is ready to add the tomato paste. Yeah, as I said, it's a time for our tomato paste to be add so it's been mixed very well now we need a little bit the uh, water into this and let it uh, uh, simmer for just maybe 20 minutes or so that's going to be all together it's going to be ready let me add some water Okay, and also it's a good time to put some of the saffron. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on and reduce the heat to the low. Okay. Now we should put just a little bit of oil because I'm going to add the water later and start sauteing our mushroom. You know these are going to shrink. All right, here the bar is going to go here now. All right, our mushroom was cooking away. So, I sometimes I really don't put any flour in this, and it's gonna be 
taken off but right now I'm just using not much just the maybe quarter of the a spoon actually okay and also is a time for salt and some pepper also we are almost there and it's ready to put the cream on it so before we do that I'm gonna go and check to see if our cauliflower is ready and also the meat probably is ready so I reduced the heat on this one and go check on those let me see oh yeah oh yeah right good timing good timing and <clears throat> All right, this is also is ready, ready, ready. Everything all together. We are adding the heavy cream to our mushroom. And I don't know if we, we record this or just missed it. But uh, just a second ago, I just add the heavy cream and this is a <laughs> this is the witness okay <laughs> and now if it's here is if you think it's a too thick you can add the milk if it's not if it's not too thick and you think you know it should be thicker just let it on a heat for a maybe five ten more minutes so it's just and also this is the time you have to test to see if the salt and pepper are is perfect and if you need it then you can add it ours is done and I'm gonna turn it off and I'm just going to just actually going to serve the food okay I added just about a touch of milk on this because I don't want to get very dry because it turn out off the heat now turn this one and I have to take this put it here so let's see God help us to do that um. <clears throat> all right here go one Go the second. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. That's the way that we serve this food. So we put the meat around and. Then after we finish this, then the sauce going on the top. All right. Here is our cauliflower dish. And uh, like always, it's going to be one of the most delicious food. I guarantee you, if you make it, it's going to be one of your uh, favorite. So... As I said, they have a little bit of those cilantro. You can throw that in. And so it, the people, they eat it with this, some of their dish that, you know, if you have like a different food, they take some, and put it in their, their dish and either eat it just like this or they put it on the rice. You can do the same thing, whatever you think it satisfy you do it that way and uh, really I encourage everybody to make this dish 
okay guys thank you for watching and uh, i really appreciate if you just subscribe if it's the first time and just tell the friends to just support my channel and till next time with another dish bye